Question 9 AII The electron and proton of a hydrogen atom are separated by a mean distance of 5.2 times 10 raised to negative 11 meter. Calculate the magnitude of the electrostatic force between the particles. Take charge of electron to be equal to 1.6 times 10 raised to negative 19 column and we have 4 pi epilum naught raised to negative 1 it will be equal to 9.0 times 10 raised to power 9 meter per farad. Solution. Now we, we know that the force of attraction between two charges, say, uh, let me divide this, okay, to be enough. Say the force of attraction between two charges is directly proportional to the products of the charges, charge one, charge two, and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. Distance between them. So if you have that, uh, that is to say that if you bring in a constant, our F will be equals to K Q1 Q2 all over arrow square. So we have this. This is what we have at the end of the day. Now this relation is used to calculate the magnitude of the force between two charges separated by a particular uh, distance. So we are going to use that in this equation right away. Now we also know that this our k as given is given to us whether it was given or not. We know that this k is always 1 all over 4 pi epsilon naught which is uh, this is inverse of this. This is what we have here that is uh, this written as raised to negative 1 is the same as this which has been given to us to be equals to 9.0 times 10 raised to power 9 so that is what we have there this so we are going to substitute all this now we are given that the charge on the electron is this this is charge on the electron now we know that the charge of the electron is equal to the charge on the proton it's just that the we have opposite charge but the, in terms of the magnitude of the charge they are the same the charge are the same both for the electron and the proton are the same so if this is the charge of the electron this is the charge of the proton the two of them are the same we can say that therefore the magnitude of the force as requested our k we know our k to be 9.0 times 10 raised to power 9 times our q the charge now 1.6 times 10 raised to power 19 that is for electron the same thing for proton we are looking at electron and proton now 1.6 times 10 raised to negative 19 for uh, proton as well now all over the distance between them the square of the distance between them now is separated by 5.2 times 10 raised to negative 11 that is square we square this so by the time we square this, now we multiply everything we have up here. But I'm going to show you a way to do it without uh, maybe using a particular scientific calculator that can actually uh, spread this. Now what you're going to do is very simple. Multiply the numbers you have here. 9. If you multiply 9 times 1.6 times 1.6, you are going to have 23.04. Now I'm going to use indices to attack this. 10 raised to the power 9 times 10 raised to the power negative 19 times 10 raised to the power negative 19 so what we are going to do is since we are multiplying this and the bases are the same this 10 this 10 this 10 all the bases are equal we are just going to add up their powers so we go ahead and add their powers that is to say we have 10 raised to the power 9 plus uh, minus 19 plus minus 19 so if you do that this is all over the same thing here you have uh, 5.2 if you square 5.2 we'll be having 27.04 the reason i'm doing it because there are a lot of persons especially students that don't uh, that have problem simplifying all this kind of uh, work it's like when it's in standard form like this so we go ahead by the time you solve this you're going to come up with i'm just going to divide this 23.04 divided by 27.04 when you divide that you have 0 0.852 uh, times now add up this 9 plus minus 19 which is 9 minus 19 minus 19 again that will give you uh, 10 raised to uh, negative 29 so we have 10 
raised to negative 29. Now, because we are dealing with, uh, since this is division, according to law of the indices, when we have the same base, we can subtract their parts. So that would be minus, that would be minus this other as well. Remember, this is minus here, so it's going to affect this. That minus plus, okay, let me indicate that. We have minus 22. So when you do that, now everything we have down here, this will become by, uh, let's express this in standard form. This will be 8.52 times 10 raised to negative 1. So I'm expressing this 0 0.8. Uh, 5 2 in standard form so I'm going to have 10 raised to negative 1 now times the same thing by the time you do this as well minus minus 29 minus minus 22 that will give us uh, minus 7 that is 10 raised to negative uh, uh, 7 when you do this you are going to have 8.52 uh, now times okay let me take this permit me to take this I'm going to erase this let's take this solution somewhere here let's take it here so it will enter better let me take it here so this solution here will now become equals to i'm just taking this up here this will now be 8.52 times 10 raised to power now we have this again just add up this as well minus 1 plus minus 7 that will give us minus Eight. Remember, we are calculating force minus a. We are calculating force, so that will be in Newton. Okay, charge. Uh, yes, the force as well. We are calculating the force, so that will be in Newton. The magnitude of the force that is uh, separating them. So that is to say that our answer for this question is eight point eight point five two times ten raised to negative eight. Eight point five two times ten raised to negative eight. So that is the answer to this question.